Hello, everybody! Regatron here with another episode of Let's Play! The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. So, last time we started the Shadow Temple, now we're going to finish the Shadow Temple. And I think we're going to finish it in this episode, I'm not sure. I didn't see that. Okay, so let's try to aim it without looking at it, okay. Oh, I made it just fine. All right. Well, into the next room. Okay, so really quick, you need to equip your iron boots because there are some strong fans in here that will blow you blow you around. So yeah. So so this room right here, yeah, it, you'll get blown around if you don't have your iron boots on. So. Make sure you have your iron boots on when you come through this room, because you will get blown away if you try to do this room without your iron boots on, so. Alrighty. So, I'm going to do this, and then let's hook shot our way over there. If I can. Yeah, there we go. Right, there we go. And uh, avoid getting blown across the bridge, blowing, blown off the bridge into the abyss as well. You have to leave your iron boots on in this room. So now you don't have to do this. I'm doing it because I want to, not because I, ha not because I have to. But all right, so let's go ahead and do this. And right, now let's go and equip our. Um, uh, let's just equip these boots here. There is a redead in here. There is two redads in here. No, no. There we go. There are two redads in here, right? Yeah, there is. Okay. And they die in one hit with the spin attack. So yeah. Now this room, all it has in it is an invisible chest. Um, there's not really much of a. Um, uh, uh, good to us because all it is I believe is arrows yeah so if you need arrows there you go so now we're going to leave our army boots off and actually let this thing blow us across so if I can there we go and let's blow it, let it, let it blow us across there we go past the spike traps and then we kill these guys all right there we go they're dead <laughs> ah this is just hilarious alrighty so now we need our bombs because this chest right here is not actually the key we're looking for because we need a key to open the chest. This is a blue rupee which I don't know why I picked up because it's just pointless. So, but I guess it's... Alright, so let's go ahead and grab our bombs. And I want to blow this thing up right here so let's do that. Okay, there we go. Now it's going to go back with our hook shot again because we will need that again. Alright, so in this chest right here, there's actually a key. Now, yes, I knew there was a chest there, even though I didn't use my lens of truth because I played this game over 5,000 times. By the way, that's overreacting. I've only played it a couple times. So. No, I know I played it a lot, but not, not nearly quite that many times. At least I hope not, because that means I have a sad life if that's the case. I played other games besides this one. Oh, there's other games besides this one a lot more. Like Twilight Princess, I played that game ten times. So, plus the Let's Play I did for you guys, which is eleven times. So, which I am going to redo Twilight Princess once I get a capture card. So. You have a better experience with it, like better graphics and stuff like that. But I still have to wait till I get a computer, and that's going to be kind of a pain in the butt, a new computer, because 
This computer as it is would not be able to handle a capture card, or a really good one anyway. And you need a really good one for like HD plays, so. But um, yeah, so I'm just pushing this box here. All right, now we need our ocarina. So let's grab our ocarina. I just got a message from Skype because I can tell on my phone. Because I have Skype on my phone as well as um, on uh, my phone as well as on my um, as well as on my computer. So. But yeah, so there we go. No shit, I missed the Skulltula. Oh well, whatever. I'll come back to get. There's a Skulltula up there. I didn't. I didn't. I, I didn't think to kill it before I played the Ocarina. Ocarina. So let's go ahead and. Uh, Go ahead and just come up here. No sense in fighting these guys because they're useless. Now, if you stand up here, they'll just fall off the edge by themselves. So, the, sh the ship in the th Master Quest version of this game is much, in the 3D and 3DS version of this game is much cooler looking. So, yeah, these guys just walk off the edge and kill themselves, and they're trying to hit you. So, bye bye. Alright, so there we go. We've gotten those guys dead. I don't know if that's a real word, but okay. So those guys are dead now. Alright, and right here is the last part of the dungeon. Oh, you know what? I could just record this on in one episode, because now it's going to be a really short episode. Well, I guess not, because like, considering the cutscene and all that shit, so... Oh, ho, 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 ho. that was close. I almost, I almost slid off the edge. Yes, shut up, Navi. Now, yeah, if you're on the ship still, she would say that, and you can see the ship sinking, but I don't give a crap. Because I was already off the ship. I like to get off the ship early so I don't have to see Navi see that message. I like to rush as quickly as I can so I don't have to see, not, so I don't have to see the, that message that Navi send to me, sends me. So. so you have to do that. Um, otherwise, you can't cross over, so... But we aren't going to go over there yet because that's where the boss is and we can't fight the boss quite yet. So, because we still need two more things, a small key and the mini boss and the, and the, and the, and the, and the boss and, and a small key. So, this boss is pretty f cool and fun. I love it. It's my favorite boss in the, uh, you know, there are invisible walls here, but I know where, which routes to go where pretty much. So... Okay, in here, we need to get Dense Fire out. So, if you don't have Dense Fire, you're screwed. If you don't have Dense Fire at this point, you're screwed. Because if, if you manage to get in with the fire arrows, you're going to be screwed. Now, let me test something here real quick. Can you destroy these fire arrows? I don't think you can. No, you can't. You have to have the... Um, you have to have Dens Fire to do this. Now, you could wait till the last second if you don't really, really want to brave it, but I'm not going to because I don't want to. So there we go. Let's just go ahead and run up and just kill this fucker. He's dead. Inside this chest is the boss's key because obviously it's the only fancy chest here, so... We got the boss's key. All right. Now, there is magic there if you ran out of magic. If you had no magic left, so don't worry about it. Don't worry about. Oh, but don't worry about it. Don't worry if you're. Oh man, but if I'm out of magic, you'll be fine. Trust me. As long as you have. As long as you have. Um, Dins fire, you should be good. Because as I said, you can't destroy you can't destroy those other stuff with Dins fire. So, okay, that was dumb. 
Got stuck on a wall. Okay, so let's go over here. And in this room are my least favorite floor masters, the invisible ones, because you can't see what they're where they're at. So shield, then jump attack. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and wind up the spin attack. There we go. And that's it. We are now done with this dungeon. All we have to do now is defeat the boss and that's it. So, this is my favorite dungeon though. Um, it's sad that it's over now, but um, we gotta move on. We gotta move on. We gotta move on with the game. So, the next dungeon is my second favorite dungeon in this game, so. Because I like the concept of it, so let's go ahead and head back this way. So I believe not over there. I believe that over here is the way out, I think. Not entirely sure. That's the way out, alright. So let's cross the bridge and go fight the boss. I have full life still, so I'm good. But if you don't, if you feel like you're running low on life and you can't handle the boss, then all you have to do is um, play the song, play the play the uh, song of time there, and play the Scarecrow song up there, and you should be good. Because they give you three hearts. Kind of thing with I should go into the boss battle with full life, but I'm fine. I don't need to worry about it. This boss won't take me that much time at all because well. I got the big Goron sword, and plus, it's going to be very easy to destroy him. Now, in the Master Quest Edition, there is actually a Skultula in this room. Um, but it's not in the Master Quest Edition. It's not in the normal edition of the game. Alright, so let's pull our sword. And do a jump attack. Alright. Oh god, hands. Now you'll need your lens of truth for this and your bow. Phantom Shadow Beast, bongo bongo. Alright, so... He's not that hard, actually. He's actually a pretty simple boss if you know what you're doing. So, pretty much, just wanna tar target his hands. Ow. And shoot his hands with arrows. And then what you wanna do last is shoot his eye. As soon as he gets close enough. Boom! And you know we do. And that's it. He's dead. <laughs> so, yeah. That boss battle went pretty quickly. So. The boss battle is pretty simple. Um, if you know what you're doing, as I said. I took I took one hit of damage, but that's, that's good considering. And I took that. It usually takes several hits from this boss. And I even practiced this dungeon, so that's how you can tell how you can tell I've played this game several times. Is I don't even have to practice the dungeon before I play it. All right, so there we go. Bongo Bongo's defeated. Let's grab this, and we got ourselves another heart container. Your max life energy is increased. Life energy increased by one heart, and your life energy will be totally filled. All right, so there we go. We got two hearts left, which will be completing another one in the next episode, actually. Um. And then we'll be and then we'll be getting our last one from the boss of the next temple, so we are about done with this game, so 
to th it feels like I it feels like I just started this let's play. But it's not. Sadly, it's coming to an end soon. All right, so let's, let's see. <clears throat> so we saved Impa. Hi! Hi, Pony Tits. I missed it. I missed you. The boy of the Noble Zelda Zucarina, as I expected. You have come. I remember one of the Sheikahs. I put this as caretaker, and I'm also the sage who guards the Shadow Temple. <clears throat> we should have served the royal tea of the Hy of Hyrule from generation to generation. As attendants, however, <clears throat> on that day seven years ago, Ganondorf suddenly attacked the Hyrule Castle. And Hyrule Castle surrendered after a, t after a short time. Ganondorf's target was one of the, one of the keys to Sacred Realm. This hidden treasure, of the this is this the hidden treasure of the royal family, the Orca of Time. My dear Bami takes Zelda out of Ganondorf's reach. When I last saw you, you were you, we made our escape from the castle. You were just a lad. Now I see you've become, you have become a fine hero. Mm. There's nothing to worry about. The princess is safe now. What? Let's just talk about Princess Zelda. Soon, you'll meet Princess Zelda face to face. And she will explain everything. That's where we six wise ones will steal out the evil king and return peace to Hyrule. I have to stay here. You go to Princess Zelda's side and protect her on my behalf. Now, I put my power which should be helpful to you into this medallion. Jeez, Impa, you should lay off the cigarettes. That's not sounding good for your voice. <clears throat> and with that, we have received the Spirit Med the Shadow Medallion. Impa waits at Wiccans as a sage, and that's her power to yours. Please look out for the princess. Okay, seriously, I should lay off the cigarettes. That's not that's not very good for you. Your voice sounds terrible. Alright. So that will be it for this episode of Let's Play The Legends of the Ocarina of Time. Next time we'll be heading to the desert. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you really like it, it uh, and want to help my channel grow, please subscribe to it. Also make sure to leave your positive or negative comments down below. This is where we get to 100, saying getting 20% cooler, getting 20% cooler, signing off, peace out.